man. I thought a car like the C-Class would bring out the more mature side, yes. but it's actually got us behaving like a bunch of kids this morning, so I do apologize in advance. Tiro, welcome Hello. back, sir. Yes. Awesome to have you here. Awesome to have such a, a great run of incredible cars. I thought this was going to be a letdown after the S-Class. Not so, huh? No, not at all. In fact, I like to think of this, the new C-Class, as an S-Class, which Mercedes just left in the wash a bit too <laughs> long. It really is a shrunken S-Class, this thing. They've got so many features in here, which we spoke about last week, actually, mm. but which you would pay a lot less for in this car, and I'm going to take you through some of them as we go. I was just so, going to say, clearly they are trying to create a sense of continuity through all of their brands at the moment, so, yeah. and that really does filter down. Just in the, the, the front end, the design, yeah. um, those accents, this, uh, this really pretty. does follow through. It's really, really pretty, actually. In fact, but you get two grill treatments. I don't know if you remember or if you maybe have seen them driving around, but you either get this one where you have the a good old-fashioned old three-pointed star. This is cool, because when you're driving around, you see it hanging on the bonnet there. Just don't park just next to any high schools, okay? <laughs> Stay clear of teenage boys when you've got one of these on, yeah. Well, you get the other girl treatment, which has a big, fat Mercedes badge mm. in the middle there. I quite, I actually quite cool like the other one, but there is something cool about seeing that right in front of you. So and it's nice, a nice um, throwback to their past as well, which exactly. is cool, yeah. So mm. let me take you through uh, a bit of the range. Uh, the car, the range starts off with the C180, which is actually a 1.6-litre turbo petrol. Okay. Yeah, in a car this big, your grandfather would be very upset about that. <laughs> but it's actually quite quick, and it has very, very good fuel consumption. The one I've got for you this morning, is the C220, it's a 2.1 turbo diesel. This has nice. 125 kilowatts, 400 newton meters. You don't really care about those things. What you care That's about- That's enough. Exactly. That's enough. Yeah. What you care about is the fuel consumption, 4.5 liters to the 100. Wow. That's what they're claiming okay. here. My test car is averaging seven, which is still really, really good. And, and for the, you know, a car that would have the, the guzzler stigma attached to it, that's very good. Yeah, very, exactly. Very good, yeah. So can I invite you to join you me You may, sir. I shall not refuse. Ah, oh, thank <clears> you. Because <throat> there is some very special stuff oh. which I've got to show you in here. We've got a little so, mahogany finish. I so love that. The, the first thing you'll notice is this beautiful interior and the solid sound of the door closing. Let me just well. turn that on for us there. So basically, I wanted to show you, yes, turn, okay, turn, turn off the radio. So I wanted to show you the way this works. So this is actually a swiping over here. It's like it's a, it works it's like a, a mouse. smartphone. It's a mouse. Okay, bro. it's a mouse. <laughs> it's a <car> mouse. <laughs> it, may, cool. it might be a mouse, let's call it a mouse. But look how you just swipe through everything um, to change station or to uh, switch through menu options as and well. And I love it, you don't have to actually really take your eyes off the road. You, it's just a quick glance, your hand can naturally yeah. work its way around the navigation. Love the um, the styling, the little accents on the buttons, on the knobs. You, you've, um, it's a man's car, I hate to say, but it feels like um, you know, it's got a lot of really cool gadgets for a guy. This nice. is very cool. So this is your navigation, right? So if I want to enter in an address, I just sort of swish through things like that. Destination, uh, address entry, and then let's go to a street. And now you'll actually hear the confirm each letter. So if I draw, start drawing an E. For oh, wow. There you e. go. Oh, look at that. <laughs> and that's Thanks. how you put in your addresses. Oh, nice. A nice calming <laughs> tone she has as well. Very Beautiful cool. styling. I like, again, a, a, a throwback to the old. This yes. seems to be now a big part of their interior styling as well. It's yep. those little accents, little touches. Traditional. Um, in terms exactly. of the, the cockpit and the, the, the look is amazing, how do you feel when you drive the car? So, well, actually, this, the thing about this new C-Class is you don't really need to drive it. It's got this thing, <laughs> called, it's got this thing called steering assist where it'll actually read the lines of the road and it'll gently nudge the steering wheel and keep you in the lane and then it's got distronic which measures the distance of the car in front of you and just keeps the car crawling forward and even works in traffic oh, <laughs> so you don't have very, to touch very anything nice, yeah. very cool very uh, very cool i have to ask though do you do you sacrifice any of your driving pleasure um any of your your actual contact with the road and that feel, that tactile appreciation through the steering wheel when you have all of these things engaged. You know what, I think there's going to be two types of car in the future and we're already seeing it now with this. We're seeing cars that pretty much drive themselves in the city so you can just relax and update your Facebook status and all the rest of it. <laughs> and then there's going to be sports cars where you really get involved in the driving feel. I think basically we're going to see hybrids of those as well but this car is more lending itself or more leaning rather towards a city car rather than a car that you 
like actively sort of throw yeah, into you're corners. You're not going on a gumball rally in this guy. It's, <laughs> yeah, it's more to, exactly. to look after you in the city. But now I understand that the most surprising yes. part about this whole little package is the price of these little beasts. Well, I've been really impressed by the pricing of the new Merc C-Class. So the range starts at 416,000. Wow. I think that's a lot of car for your money. And then when you weigh it up against, excuse me, interrupting, mm. weigh it up against the S-Class that we had, and that was about yeah, a million rand 1.3 million. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, and it's got half of the S-Cars features. So this particular unit that I've got for you here today is about half a million, and it compares quite favorably with its rivals. The equivalent sort of Beamer is about 470, okay. and then the equivalent entry-level Beamer is about four, is, sorry, about 370, 380. So it's not too far off its closest, closest rival, but I, th I really do think this is a fantastic value-for-money car. You never thought you'd say that about a Mercedes-Benz. Yeah, it really does offer the complete package. It looks yeah. awesome too. Chiro, thank you so much. My Pleasure. Where can we find you online? At Chiro DS on Twitter. All right. Well, we'll welcome him back to the basement next week again to review something awesome. Right now, though, let's jump right into our Express News.